Good day, ma'am. Can I ask a question? Good day. Sure. Feel free to ask. I have encountered a lot of Venn diagrams in my classes, especially in my math subject. And I have used it in one of my reports, but I don't have much knowledge about it. Can you tell me more about Venn diagram and its invent? Okay, I will tell you about the anecdote and the most significant contribution of John Venn. John Venn is an English mathematician, logician, and philosopher. He is one of the most important contributors to mathematics. Symbolic logic, or also known mathematical logic, probability theory, and philosophy of science are some of his most famous inventions. But he is most recognized for his invention, the Venn Diagram. John Venn was born on August 4, 1834. He is the first child of Henry Venn and Martha Skye's Venn. He was raised very strictly and has never thought of anything else but following the family tradition of Anglicanism. He graduated in 1857 and after a year, he followed his father's footstep of becoming an Anglican priest to survey in Hertfordshire. However, after 24 years, he resigned as a priest, then went back to Cambridge. He became a moral science lecturer under the influence of Augustus de Morgan, George Bowe, and John Stuart Mill, where he developed an interest in logic, philosophy, and metaphysics. He also began extending Bowe's mathematical logic that led him to invent the eponymous Venn diagram. Mathematicians and logicians recognized him for his graphical representation method of illustrating sets. He married Susanna Carnegie Edmundstone in 1867. They had a son named John Archibald Venn. In August 4, 1923, in Cambridge, England, John Venn died at the age of 88. How about John Venn's invention? Can you tell me more about this Venn diagram? I was expecting you to ask that question. Venn diagram graphic became famous in the 1880s because John Venn wrote a paper entitled On the Diagramic and Mechanical Representation of Propositions and Reasonings. They were originally named Aurelian Circles by John Venn following the Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler, who developed similar diagrams in the 1700s. The term Venn diagram was originally used by Clarence Irving Lewis, who is an American philosopher, when he published his book in 1918 entitled A Survey of Symbolic Logic. A Venn diagram is a tool that we use to easily see the relationship between sets of objects such as commonalities and contrast. Venn diagram is represented by two or more circles that are overlapped. It is frequently used in the field of set theory. We can manipulate it to easily recognize the similarities and the differences of the elements in the sets. Important component of set theory is the use of Venn diagrams as a framework for visualizing mathematical sets or collections. Mathematicians draw on set theory to build their understanding of infinity, real numbers, and other topics. Here's an example to help you understand how set theory is used in practice. We have three college students. The three college students assign A, B, and C. Indicate which distance learning device or devices they prefer to use. According to the responses of the three respondents, the smartphone is the most commonly utilized distance learning device. Desktop received two votes, as did the tablet and laptop. Venn diagrams are frequently utilized not only in set theory, but also in several fields, such as mathematics, logic, linguistics, statistics and probability, and business. Venn diagram was first introduced in primary school. Teachers commonly taught this in 3rd to 5th grade students. Through that tool, children can easily contrast and differentiate things. Even in the workplace, Venn diagram can be used. The Venn diagram shows the comparison between the product and service. 
products or items that are tangible, such as mobiles, canned goods, and clothes. On the other hand, services are intangible. These are performed by an individual, such as car wash, massage, and tutor. Although they are diametrically opposed, they share a commonality in that they both provide value. Now that you know how indisputable the title of John Venn is the math hero, expanding the knowledge, using it to mobilize much systematic and logical way of representing sets was excellent. Inventing the Venn diagram to present and connect the unions and intersection helps generation by generation. John Venn, being a great philosopher and logician for his work is a legacy, leaving a stamp on the world of mathematics and impacting how people live in such an incredible job. Connecting logic and numbers, his work Venn diagram is used in all aspects that are vital in our daily lives. Students, workers, developers are using it in different ways and purposes. Wow, I have learned a lot. John Venn is indeed a math hero. I can't imagine set theory and mathematics without his invention.